Time now to move to our cover story. Two phones, but I'm not going to start with the two phones. I'm going to put them away. Here then is the real cover story. Motorola releases two new phones, great price points, full Android phones, very well executed, great hardware. But the real story is this. Motorola has released these phones for the first time after Google acquired them. Yet, there is nothing in these phones that really shows Google is making any changes. Well, one of the reasons could be that it's happened much before. These phones obviously were put into hardware, put into execution much before the Google acquisition. The other could be that Google is going to take it very, very slow. Has the Google acquisition made any difference at Motorola, especially in India? Our answer right now is no. How do these phones fare? Well, the Cell Guru review follows. Motorola has brought in two new smartphones in the mobile world. They are certainly good to look at and are priced affordably as well. Moto Fire and Moto Fire XT both run on the latest Android 2.3 operating system and flaunt the new Moto Switch user interface. First, the Moto Fire XT. It is sleek and light and brags of a 3.5-inch full touchscreen display. This one comes with just the right curves, making it comfortable to hold, but there isn't anything in the styling to make it stand apart. The screen is bright and responsive. At the bottom are the Android switches for menu, home, back and search. On the top is the switch off button along with a 3.5 mm jack. On the left there is a USB port and on the right rest the volume rocker and a camera short key. Flip it around and there is a 5 megapixel camera with flash. And in the front, they did manage to put in the front camera, making it capable for video calling. It is powered by an 800 MHz processor, though with such specifications, we were expecting a 1 GHz. But for the price, we shall let this pass. Net surfing was smooth and the pinch to zoom worked well. You can access thousands of apps thanks to Android Market. With multiple home screens and the new Moto Switch interface, it gives users unique personalization options, better chatting and surfing experience. Talking of the touch and type model, Fire is for all those who can't do without a keypad. It comes with a 2.8 inch touchscreen display with a full QWERTY keyboard. The back of the phone is plastic while the Fire XT has a rubber back. The keypad is compact with no space between the keys, but it is still comfortable to type on. Between the touch screen and the keypad rest the four Android user keys. There is a USB port, 3.5mm jack, volume switch and camera shortcut key placed on the sides of the phone. The touch screen is as responsive as the Fire XT. The back hosts a 3 megapixel camera, but in this one Moto gave a miss for the front camera. Both these phones are 3G enabled and have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for connectivity. And they come with a 2GB memory card with up to 32GB expandable memory. Moto X Fire XT and Moto Fire are priced at 12,990 rupees and 9,490 rupees respectively. Cell Guru verdict? A successful attempt in both the categories with good features and an awesome price point. If you're in the market for a smartphone that costs around 10,000 rupees, these two should be on your final list. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.